Hey, welcome back to Nowhere in Particular RV. Here we are actually doing a project on a house. This is my parents' beach house and my mom requested a sunset ombre wall, so that's what we're doing. If you came over here from TikTok and Instagram, thanks for pressing all those buttons. And if you found us on YouTube, that's amazing. I can't believe it worked. Uh, but anyways, hope you like this and please like and subscribe if you wanna see more. I started by measuring this wall. You can see it has several different stages. We have that top stage, then this little middle section, and then this lowest section. So I measured all of those and figured out my total height and then I divided the colors up by how we wanted them spaced so we're trying to mimic a sunset so this yellow is the smallest then the orange is a little bit bigger the red's a little bit bigger and all the way up to the darkest blue which is taking up the most space on the wall and this is red even though it looks weirdly orange in the camera and sorry for the flashes that's the sun and the clouds outside the window my camera's just picking up on the lighting changes so on my previous ombre walls, I really only did one coat of paint. Uh, it could have just been the paint difference, it could have been the wall difference, um, I'm not sure. But for these, I needed two coats of paint, so I actually wasted a lot of time by brushing the first coat on, when I really could have just rolled it on and then brushed the second coat. This is my husband helping me reach tall areas, because uh, that railing goes over or above the steps it's really high up and it was scary so he was helping me out a little bit there but anyway so yeah i kind of learned with the blue i was going to roll that on everywhere else i will eventually paint some of these other walls but for right now i'm just doing this one so yeah roll your first coat brush your second coat if that's the texture you want that is the texture that we wanted for this sunset ombre wall so that's why i am originally brushing unnecessarily so Okay, this is the next day and I'm doing a second coat on the yellow and the orange and then I'm going to start blending them together and I, I really enjoyed it. it. worked out really well. This was fun. Probably one of my favorite sections. I'm utilizing a brush and a wet cotton rag. Uh, for most of this, I, that's what I use. With the purple, I had an easier time blending it with a foam roller. So if you're having trouble with the brush, definitely recommend a foam roller. It's, super, it's helpful getting the colors at least on the wall and you can kind of work with them more easily after that. I did draw a solid line across my lines and so I had to come back the next day and kind of cover it up a little bit more. So just be warned, uh, I would recommend just doing little ticks instead of a full line. It makes your life easier down the road. So you can see here some areas I taped, some areas I didn't. Definitely had an easier time with the tape. Just be careful to score it or it can peel your paint off and when you're trying to do a mural that can be really hurtful. Luckily nothing too super bad happened this time and we did score everything. I actually probably worked on this purple and red blending more than anything else just because I could not get it to work. My lighting was really difficult. Uh, the light bulbs were burnt out for a long time then we replaced them and they were too bright. It was really hard to see up there but eventually after about an hour or two I did get it something that I was very happy with. Okay, here we are uh, doing our second coat on our blue and you can see I'm reaching over that railing and blending and I'm just kind of getting a base blend here on purpose. I'm using the brush and then I'll come back the next day with the foam roller. I'm also trying to blend up the blue from more textured to less textured because we kind of want to give it a smooth finish towards the top and but more of a fun blend towards the purple. Wall paint's just not as easy to blend so just keep adding if you're having trouble using a wet rag it's super helpful it'll eventually give you something that you're happy with and this staircase is narrow it's like a foot and a half wide it's really not much space to work in so i'm sorry for some of these funky camera angles we did the best we could with the space we had at the moment okay and here's the art we replaced those rusty word signs with and we also got rid of that mermaid and did uh, a nice little my happy place sign and this is what it looks like from above, I'll eventually paint those two walls and the one around the door. And this is it coming upstairs. And we did put the railing back on, don't worry, I just got footage beforehand. My mom painted these palm trees. Uh, she didn't want to be filmed, so I just uh, did little snippets in between each palm tree. But this is the end result, and we're super happy with it. I hope you all liked it too. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more content along these lines. We really appreciate it, and we love you all.